Okay, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to install GTA 5 mods. Uh, let's make this really basic. We're going to start with something simple. First, uh, where to go to get the mods. GTA5-mods.com uh, is probably a pretty good website. It's what I've been using. It hasn't caused me any problems yet, but I would uh, also just hesitate that you never know what you're going to be downloading when you come to a site like this. So you could always go to Reddit and find the source for a ton of mods. Um, I'll put the link for a good subreddit in there. Check those out if you're at all hesitant. I'm not going to be responsible if you go and download some malware. So let's go ahead and just get this field of view mod. I'm going to download it. I actually already have it downloaded. You know, full disclosure, I actually did go get it from the source. So again, just be wary. So I uh, always save all of my files like that directly into a GTA 5 folder like this. You see GTA 5 mods. I just put, it all, put them all in there to keep them all neatly organized so I know where they all are. So this is... Um, so actually what it's gonna, what's going to happen is it's going to come compressed. You'll right click it. You'll hit extract. I like to extract it to a file of the same name right here in this folder. And it'll come up looking like this. Once you have this, open it up. Make sure that you have this DLL and this FOV file. Those are the important files. Also, you'll probably want to go ahead and run this uh, Visual C file just once, at least to make sure you've done it. Once you've done that, that then you'll know a mod like this will work. Uh, and you only need to do it once. I've already run it, but you just double click. It's a really simple process. It's really easy. It'll be over before you know it. So once that's done, go ahead and grab these files, copy them, and let's find your GTA 5 file folder. Now typically this is going to be in your C drive. You go to C drive, your program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, in there you'll see GTA 5. Mine's actually on my D drive, so I'm just going to pop that in there. Steam library, Steam apps, common, and it's right there. Now, the way to tell if you're in the right folder, you'll see this GTA 5 application and you'll see bink 2 w 64dol If you see those, you're in the right spot. And then you can just go ahead and paste these things into here. Again, I've already put them in here. but uh, So I'm just going to, yeah, let's replace them. Just to show you guys what you'll get. dsound.dll and fov. So from here, you could just boot up GTA 5, but nothing will be different. What you'll want is to open with notepad. And you'll get all these variables here. And you could change them all to whatever you want. Change my walking to 85, 75, 74, 76, and 70. All right. And ADS stands for aim down sight if you're not aware. Then just go file, save, close. And close out of this and then you can boot up Grand Theft Auto 5 which I'm gonna do right now okay here it is so you shouldn't see a difference right now because I didn't actually change my third person field of view but when I pop into first person you can start to see that I have a much wider view of the world on the edges you can see the distortion actually if you uh, let's see if you kind of go slow you can see how it's warped on the very edges just shows I could see more. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's the goodness. Let's uh, hop in the car to see the what the effect is like in there. All right, so let's hop in the car, and you can see how it sort of warps to give you that wider view. All right, so that's that. So that's how you do the field of view mod. Uh, a lot, all, pretty much all mods are going to be similar. Um, there's a few that are slightly different where you just sort of install a program and it runs in the background. But most mods that you get are going to be a lot like this. So let's go, let's go punch this person in the face, and that's it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.